And we're now going to go to our next question. What have we got here? Um, okay, let's do this one. Um, uh, this is, what's it say here? This is from Rita. Okay, this is from Rita. And it's actually a lovely question. Let's see. So I can already see it's about blood, and that is important. So I'm going to do red so we get nice bright. Okay, so it says the maternity ward of a hospital had two newborn babies mixed up. Wow. Okay, so one baby had blood group O, and the other had blood group A. Both mothers thought the baby with blood group O belonged to them. So baby with blood group O is the one that's, that's the issue. It was established that one of the baby's mothers, Mrs. Khan, is blood group AB. And her husband is blood group O. The other mother, Mrs. Moore, is blood group A and her husband is blood group B. So now, what do they want us to do here? They want us to, to give the mother's blood group, I mean, Mrs. Khan, Mrs., uh, Mrs. Moore, they genotype the baby's group and the baby's genotype. So, okay, so you know what? This is what I'm going to do first. Um, let's just get some space here. Okay. People, look at this. First of all, blood. Okay, to get the blood types, we rely on multiple alleles. And this is all very, very important. Okay, they're very important concepts that you must know. Alleles. Okay, so alleles. So remember, we have homologous chromosomes. Okay, we have one chromosome that is maternal from the mom and one chromosome that's paternal from the father. Okay, so that is a homologous chromosome. Okay, now, you're going to have genes that sit in the same position for the same thing. Those are going to be your alleles. So when we talk about multiple alleles, we're saying that there are more than two alleles. Okay, there are more than two for a specific trait. In this case, for blood. So the multiple alleles we've got, that is for blood group A. This is for blood group B, and then we have this for blood group O. So, how do we work this out? Because that's what it is. So, if we go blood groups, I mean blood groups, these are our alleles. There's A, B, and, and, and this little I. So, how does it work? So, for blood group O, we have two recessives. Oh, mind you, let me do this first. Okay, let's just, let me do this in, in... Okay, so A and B are co-dominant. Which means that if someone has blood group A, B, they have one allele from A and one allele from B, and they dominate equally. All right. And this little one here is recessive which means you need two for that trait to come through. Uh, for trait to be expressed. Okay, because it's recessive. Whenever you have a recessive trait, you always need two. Okay, one from each parent for that recessive trait to be expressed in the phenotype. Okay, now... Um, uh, we have blood group A, blood group... Oh, my man, what am I doing? I need space. Got A, B. So we've got blood group A, we've got blood group B, we have blood group A, B, and we have blood group O. Those are the different blood groups that we have in the world. All right. What is... So that's the, that, this is the phenotype. So what is the genotype? So your genotype is going to be for A, it's going to be, or, okay, why? Because this is recessive. 
right? For blood group B, we have the same. Or AB is simply A and B. So we have those two alleles. And O is going to be the two recessives. Now, going back to our question, okay, this baby with blood group O is going to be, when they ask for the baby's genotype, the baby's genotype is going to be, so baby O is going to be, and, um, and the baby with blood group A is going to be either that or that. Okay, so homos heterozygous A or homozygous A. Okay, so now I want to show you this. Let's do a little quick cross. Okay, um, let's say, mm, let's do it like this. So we're going to do the cons here. All right, and here we're going to do, what was it? The, what was the surname of the other parents? Moor, okay? And we have the Moors here. All right? We have Mr. Khan and Mrs. Khan, and we have Mr. Moor and Mrs. Moor. Okay. So, if we do the P1 and we look at the phenotype, okay? Okay, look, I've got the question here that was before it was put up. So I've got the paper version. So the phenotype, we have Mr. Khan is O and Mrs. Khan is AB. Okay? We have Mr. Moore is B and Mrs. Moore is A. All right. If we look at their genotype, based on what I've just told you about our blood groups here, okay, we're going to have Mr. Khan is definitely that. Mrs. Khan is A, B. Um, Mr. Moore is B, so he can be, or he can be, and Mrs. is A, so she can be this, A, or she can be, so homozygous A or heterozygous, homozygous B or heterozygous. Mrs. Khan can only be AB. And Mr. Khan can only be little i and little i. So tell me something. If we look at our babies, our babies are A and O. So this baby here, in order to get the two recessives, there is no way the cons can be the parents. Why? Because there is no I here to make. Because this baby for O needs one from mom and they're going to need one from dad. And if they don't have that I from mom and I from dad, well, they can't, it can't be possible. So an AB blood group, there is no I. There isn't one. So the cons are, they have the child, the A baby, and the Moors are going to have, look here. They've got that, they've got that. So if this and that allele come together, I have two of them, and I have a baby with O. All right, so what is the result in our table. Okay, let's see. We said the cons, because they have, let's do a different color here, so it's darker for you to be able to see. So let's do a nice royal blue. Okay, here. So the cons are O and AB, which means they cannot have a baby that is O. Their baby's blood group must be A. All right? And if the blood group is A, it means the baby's genotype is going to be A, I. It's going to be this one here. Right. And which means the Moors have the baby with blood group O, which means the baby's genotype is that. Now, let's look at the moms. They say mother's genotype, easy. Mrs. Khan is AB. And Mrs. Moore. Well, she has to have that there in order to give 
it to her baby because one came from, from Mr. Moore um, and one had to have come from mom. Otherwise, that is not possible. So Mrs. Moore must be 1A and I. So that's her genotype there. So all you have to do, people, is remember that you need two recessive um, alleles to express the recessive trait. Okay. Whenever you have um, com a complete or incomplete dominance, what happens? You're going to have the, the, the dominant allele masking the recessive allele. But in blood, that's not the case. Why? Because there are multiple alleles. So you're going to have the, the A and B are co-dominant, and, and, and your two little eyes are without a doubt. Your O is without a doubt too recessive, done and dusted. Okay, so I hope that helps you. Just what you've got to focus on, please, is this, is that blood is a multiple allele, and it's only, it's A, B, and I, right? And our blood groups, that's with what they are. So in order to have a blood group O, you need the two recessives, right? done and dusted.